Okay, we are back, and as you may have seen in the top left hand corner, we have installed a new mod. Um, we've installed the Apocalypse spell package, as I said I probably would after I got to the College of Winterhold. <sighs> but um, it has been a while since I've played, I do apologize for that. Been slightly unwell, and then there was work, and yeah, it was just. It's just finding the time to uh, get back in, but I am ready to play again, so hopefully... Oh great, something stopped working, of course. Hold on a moment, I think... Oh, that's wonderful. Windows Explorer is restarting. Why? I don't know. <sighs> While it does this, I am tabbed out from Skyrim, which is, you know, wonderful. Okay. It's going to let me back in. Not yet. Right, okay. Why do you do these things to me, Windows? Since we are over encumbered, we are just going to have to keep on spamming uh, transmutate muscles until we get back to the College of Winterhold. What the hell is going on up here? Yeah, I'm over encumbered anyway. Are those Spriggans? Those look like Spriggans. What the hell are Spriggans doing up here? Go back to your forests, you stupid creatures. Go on, get out of here. Uh, and now I'm lost. This is the way I want to go. <sighs> I mean, really, what are Spriggans doing right out on the edge of Skyrim in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by frost? I don't get it. Mm, should we go to the bar and warm up? No, we'll just go straight back to the college. We've got plenty warm enough there. So as you probably guessed, I'm not going to... Uh yeah. Oh, maybe I have to be master of the college to do that. Um, I'm not going to go straight on to um, Felglow Keep after this. I'll pick up the quest to do it. I'm just not going to go there yet. So we had a pretty good run of it so far, but I don't want to push my luck by doing something that uh, potentially difficult this early on. Um. I mean, we could probably soldier on through it if we tried really hard. Maybe. 
but um, uh, we'll save that for a bit. Um, instead, I think we might follow up on a potentially very uh, useful side quest we picked up. Uh, I mean, we'll do all this first and uh, get it all out of the way. Then I'll look at uh, how I'm going to go about doing this quest. And then we might actually start doing the main quest as well. Okay, where is he? Do like this. That's a nice touch. Yep, the lighting is going crazy. That's okay though. You are relatively new here, are you not? I have noticed you, but we have not spoken. Uh, no we haven't. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Savos Arin, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the college. Are we clear? Um, actually, I just know a little bit more about this research. Not often, no. Some risks must be taken to be sure. I am simply trying to avoid untimely deaths. We also must make an effort to avoid worsening what Skyrim thinks of us. Okay, well I need to speak to you about Sarfal. Ah, please don't tell me that another one of the apprentices has been incinerated. I have enough to deal with right now. Not quite. We found an orb there and um, south in Sarfal. And Tolfdir thinks it's important. Very well. I trust that you wouldn't be here were it not significant. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Tolfdir normally looks after your little group, yes? Since he's apparently occupied, and I will need to see this discovery for myself, I think perhaps you should begin researching the subject. And good work. The next time you find yourself exploring Nordic ruins, perhaps this will be helpful. Maybe, but I don't think so. Uh, have you ever met with the Sigic Order? Personally? No, not I. One of their number used to advise the Archmage when I was but an apprentice here. But that was a great many years ago. Before all the members of the Order were called back to the Isle of Arteum, and it disappeared entirely. Okay. Mm -hmm. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. Right then, we need to go back down to the Arcanium. Right. Actually, while we're here, Phineas, if you require assistance with summoning techniques, please let me know. If you would, please also contain your summons to the college grounds. The locals do not need to be agitated further by Atronarchs roaming their town. They... The summoning of undead is even less advisable outside the college. Summoning undead isn't frowned upon. By sure, no. Those archaic policies died out with the Mages Guild, and were never enforced here. Necromancy, as any other type of magic, is a tool to be used. Of course, non-mages may not see it that way, so we don't go around flaunting it. Yes, used by creepy people who live out in caves. 
Um, can you teach me about conjuration? I'll teach you some of what I know, but be careful. Okay. I think we'll train it up to um, 25. But all right then. That's all we're gonna do for now. Because we're probably not gonna come back here for a while after getting these two quests. You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? Oh, I love Urag. Definitely one of my uh, favourite um, Elder Scrolls characters. Um, actually, no, I have to speak to someone else first, don't I? All right, then. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? That's right, I have to go find... Um, What's her face, Mirabelle? And speak to her. There you are. I've been trying to find you. I just wanted to let you know that ancano has been asking about you. I think he's looking for you. Why would the uh, Thalmor, blatantly obvious Thalmor spy, be looking for me? I'm not sure. Just, well, mind what you tell him. All right. Uh, is there a problem apart from him being? A spy? No, no. Well, I don't think so. Between the two of us, there are rumors about him. That this advisor position he has is a sham, an excuse. That what he's really doing is spying for the Thalmor, trying to feed them information. Whether it's true, I can't say. But it never hurts to be a little suspicious, does it? <sighs> no, okay. That, yeah. All right, then. I think that was about the worst kept secret in the world. The Thalmor scumbags who send spies everywhere. Getting good use out of this um, transmute muscle spell. Yes, I did. What do you know about the Sigic Order first, though? No more than anyone else, I don't think. They're a very old order. Predated the Imperial Mages Guild by quite a bit. In fact, the Mages Guild was founded in opposition to the idea of the Sigic Order. Only an elite few should have control over magic. No one has seen or heard from them in over a hundred years now, though. Okay, and the Archmage asked me to see you about class. Yes, from what I've heard, I expect Tolkdale will be occupied for some time. Hmm, that is a problem, isn't it? I suppose someone else will need to look after the apprentices for now. Uh, what should I do then? Well, perhaps it's time for some independent study. Check with Urag Groshav in the Arcanium. See if he's aware of any references to this thing that you and Tolkdale found. I'd like to know as much as we can about it. Okay. Okay, I better go store this stuff before I uh, start leveling up alteration too quickly. If I keep going at this rate, I'll probably have a hundred in alteration by the time I uh, get around to doing Felgoy Keep. No, I know it really doesn't work like that, but I can dream. I can dream. Okay. 
which one did we convert to save storage? Was it this one? Or this one? There was one of them, I just can't remember which one. May have been this one. Okay, so let's see. We don't need the Staff of Major Light. Now we don't need all the troll fat. I uh, should try and sell on those gems, so we'll keep hold of them for now. Um, we probably don't need all those scrolls. Keep that one as a backup just in case. Keep one of those just in case. Um, don't need that. Keep hold of those. Don't know where that came from, but we'll put it in there for now. Um, I think this would be more useful than that, so we'll get rid of that too. Okay. Actually, is there anything we can eat? Where's the room with all the food in it? Here it is. Um, to that elsewhere fondue as well. And okay. Right, this time we can speak to Urag. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? We're clear. I need to learn about something we found in Sarfall, though. I know what you want. Word travels fast around here. Discovered some big mystery, huh? Well, you don't even need to ask. No, I don't have anything for you. Not anymore, anyway. Um... I said not anymore. Orthorn stole a number of books when he ran off to Felglow Keep to join those summoners. Some kind of peace offering. I think one of those volumes may have had some relevant information. If you want them, you'll have to talk to Orthorn. Ah, uh, so who is this Orthorn character? He was an apprentice here at the college. Not very skilled, but got involved with a group of mages who took a liking to him. When they left, he took off after them. Stole supplies and books from the college. I suppose as a way to ingratiate himself. And why are they in Felglow Keep? Let's just call it a difference of opinion with the college. They were interested in research that goes outside the bounds of what the college allows. So they were persuaded to leave. Um, the college...
college is pretty lenient in what it lets people research on, so uh, that seems a little worrying. Doesn't anyone care about these books? Not enough to bother with. Archmage Aaron's approach to these things is just to let them sort themselves out. Although now it looks like you'll be doing the sorting. Good luck with that. Yeah, thanks. Um, is there any college business I can assist with? If you're feeling adventurous, I'm always looking for someone to procure valuable books from some more dangerous locations. Um, yeah, I'm up for that. Well, all right, here. I scribbled down the last place I'd heard about. Check it out, but be careful. Okay. And are there any special books you're looking for? As a matter of fact, there are. Have you ever heard of Shalador? Of course. Immensely powerful mage, back in the first era. Had an understanding of magic few have ever matched. He holed himself up in Labyrinthian and devoted all his time to research and study. But more than you would imagine possible. Since then, his writings have been scattered all over Skyrim, but are little use to anyone who can't translate them. I'm one of the few who can. I've heard whispers of more of his work having turned up. If you can track it down, it may prove useful to all of us. Yeah, I can do that. Alright then. Okay, so... As you may remember, at the end of the last episode, we got um, this writ of sealing when we killed Jurek Gelderson. And that has started for us the Forbidden Legend quest. Just out of interest, I do want to see where these books are. Turn off the vocal map. Oh, wow, that's way off in the middle of nowhere. And the other one? Where's the other one? That's Shalador. Oh, I hadn't ticked it on. And that's there. Okay. Well, we may do those shortly, but we want to do this first. So to do that, we need a book. Fortunately, we are in a library. Though we probably shouldn't be running around like that. Okay, books, books, books. I wonder if books. the librarian at Cyrodiil leaves all the cleaning duties to a single apprentice. Probably. So we need Forbidden Legend. Whatever the hell it is. This may take a while. Pretty sure the book's Forbidden Legend. Let me just check. Make sure it's not over here or on the floor or something. Something really obvious that I'm nevertheless missing. I heard in the Dark Brotherhood they assign a listener just so people can vent their problems. Yeah, it doesn't quite work like that. Could just follow the, the map marker, I suppose, to wherever it's pointing. <coughs> wherever it is pointing. Is it pointing above me? I think it is. Look at that, lurking in the shadows. Like a scumbag. I 
and Kano. Okay. Here it is, Lost Legends. Ah, <sighs> Lady, Red Eagle, ha! Huh. Forbidden Legend of Archmage Galdor. Powerful wizard by the name of Galdor, wise and just. Yeah, courts of King Harold. Murdered, um, Galdor's three sons fled into the night, pursued by a company of Harold's best warriors, and the Lord Gearmund, the king's personal battle mage. A great chase ensued from the wilds of the reach to the glacial north. One brother was said to perish in the ruins of Folgenthur at the foot of solitude. The others were run to ground soon thereafter. And once it was done, King Harold ordered every record of their murders destroyed and Galdor's name and deeds were struck from the roll of history. Looks like we're going to Golfolgenfer. Once we've had a drink. Oh, we can't jump down that way. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's get this over with. You there. I have questions for you. You were in Sarthor, yes? It has come to my attention that something was found there. Maybe. I know full well that you have. Please do not insult my intelligence. Tolfdir is still there now, is he? I shall expect a full report when he returns. Um, uh, why does this matter to you? Something was discovered in Sarthol that was significant enough that Tolfdir sent a new member of the college alone to deliver word. That sounds precisely like the sort of thing that should matter to everyone, especially me. Thank you for your help. You may go now. You are aware that, um, this college routinely incinerates its apprentices. They're not exactly the best judges of what to do in any given situation. Okay, so what's the time? It's 5 p.m. So we're not going to be going anywhere today. So I think what we will do is we will sleep the night here. In the morning, we'll make our way south to uh, Windhelm. And from Windhelm we'll catch a carriage to um, to Morthal, I think. Or Solitude. Let's just have a look. How difficult will we get to Folgenfer from Solitude itself? It wouldn't be easy, would it? We'd have to go... Because we don't want to go across the water, not that far north. We'd have to go down and around and through like that but then I mean Morphal once we're there there's no way to get back because they don't have a carriage system because they're useless so we might just want to go to solitude anyway so we don't, don't want to hang around and if we walk this route the first time then um, we should be clear of enemies for our return Because let's face it, there are going to be enemies. Uh, I don't think there's ever a time when not fighting enemies. So we have a nice relaxing night's sleep. Assume I'm also studying in this period, yeah, absorbing the knowledge that uh, Phineas has given me, hitting the books. Okay. 
So we're hungry and thirsty, but we did kind of expect that. Okay. Still hungry, apparently. Let's see, has any more food appeared in here? No. Well. Um. using it very slightly, but I'm going to stop doing that now. Okay. So all we have to do is make it down to Windhelm without freezing to death. I am tempted to install a mod that adds carriages outside all of the cities. But, um, I don't know. I'll think about it. So let's see, what's the spell we want? Mage Coat. That's right, we were going to make some sales, weren't we? Sell off uh, some of our gems that we don't need. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? It wasn't by choice, I can tell you that. Options were in short supply. Branmir and I grew up here, and nearly any money I make, he drinks away. Without the coin to pack up and leave, I decided to take to trading. Okay. I... I do what's necessary so we can get by. Have to, since I can't count on my brother for... She doesn't want to sell us anything at the moment. Maybe that's why she's stuck up here with no money. Because someone comes in clearly looking to buy or sell, and she stands around talking to them. Just soak the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Okay. If there's anything you need, just let me know. I need a refill of water. Of course. And uh, what have you got for sale? Food for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Because I could uh, go for some food. A bit of bread. Uh, some cooked meat and a hawker loaf. I think will uh, keep us going. All right then. Maybe we'll just wait here an hour and see if she actually opens up shop. Okay, can I sell stuff? I'll sell just about yes. anything. If oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Okay. Take this amethyst. Take this emerald. Take this ruby. And take this flawless garnet. Don't think there's anything else I want to sell right now. Oh, you sell snowberry extract. I might take some of that, just in case I need it. Um, I'm hoping I don't. But you never know. Now, I thought... 
thought I had a mod which added some wood chopping facilities here. Somewhere. Maybe not. Okay then. Well, in that case, let's try and make our way south. go visit that shrine of Azura but um, on another day maybe should pay our respects to Lady Azura but um, well we've got business to attend to I think Azura understands any potential trouble. There is a lot of Nordic ruins around here. Are you sure there aren't any Draugr running about? Oh, we can warm ourselves up by the smelter. Yeah, there we go. Won't get super warm out here, exposed in the wilderness, but, well, in fact, we're getting chilly. That's not good. That's not good at all. How close are we to Windhelm? Still quite a distance, but... Oh no. Ha, huh, we did it. take that fur to finance our journey. Ha! See, with enough fire, we can overcome anything. What's this? That doesn't look good, whatever it is. I think, though, with a hop and a skip, Go over here. And we are much closer to Windhelm. So Windhelm should be. Yeah. Just kind of have to go down here. Okay. We are actually getting cold now. Just keeping an eye out for danger. But just knows there's enough of it here in Skyrim. I saw a wolf down there, so I'll summon my own wolf to fight it. Okay, but we're not 
far now from the Windhelm docks. Uh, something else up there that's angry at me will it can stay angry at me up there. Almost to Windhelm. That sounds like a bear. Ah. <laughs> and right, okay. Oh no, I didn't save at all, did I? I didn't save. Okay. Also, I thought I had a violent set to. Also, I didn't have it set to third person kill moves. Um, yep, okay, that all looks good. But yeah, I want it on third person. I think it just looks a little bit better in third person. It would be nice if the Yarls of Skyrim invested in some proper infrastructure. proper infrastructure I mean more roads more roads with guards on them proper little way stations of taverns along the way so that a, uh, a traveller could stop and not freeze to death dedicated uh, pest control to take care of trolls and wolves and bears something like that yeah, like what a civilized country would do. doesn't look good. Anything that decorates their cave like that is not something we want to be uh, messing about with. Stick to the rocks as much as possible. We 
should have less trouble because beasts of Skyrim are not good climbers. Should get up a spell to defend us though, just in case. I see a wolf there. Caesars. That's fine. Thought something killed it then for a moment. Okay. So here we are at the Windhelm docks. Um, I'm tempted to kill a hawker, but um, for their delicious hawker fat, but not right now. Maybe we'll stop freezing to death first, and speak with the hawker second. Not speak with, fight a hawker. Okay. What we'll do is we will go to the corner club and warm up. And then we'll, uh, Go to the stables and get our ride out of here. There's something well, you need. Let me know if you want it. Yes, to warm up. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Okay. So we see what you got for brother. sale while Please you're here. Enjoy yourself. I let's will. Save that appetite. Hmm? Yes, let's. Um. Yeah, some baked potatoes, that'll do. If you need another drink, I'll be right here. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll save it here for now. And then come back next time. <laughs>